Good morning and welcome to Morning Scoop for Saturday, November 20th. This is your Daily Buckeye Fix. I'm Tom Moore. The Michigan State game is today the game against Michigan in seven days. Today's game between the Buckeyes and Michigan State is not only a top 10 matchup big enough to draw a college game day to Columbus, it's also the next hurdle the Buckeyes have to clear if they want to win the Big Ten and continue as a legitimate national championship contender. There was a time when a two-loss season that ended in the Rose Bowl was considered a huge success at Columbus, but since the creation of the playoff, it's now national title or bust for most Buckeye fans. So how does Ryan Day handle that kind of pressure? He was asked that question during his final media availability this week. Here's his answer, courtesy of the Ohio State University Athletics Department. Uh, living with the expectation. Um, yeah. It's funny, I was just telling a story to somebody that after last week, you know, one of the questions I asked was, you know, to comment on the solid performance of the offense and had to take a deep breath after 650 and 59 points that it was just a solid day for the offense. But uh, it's a good thing. Uh, it's what we want. It's uh, we know the expectations are high. And part of being a, an Ohio State Buckeye is uh, playing in big games. That's why we come here. And uh, certainly there's a lot of pressure that comes with it, but that's what we want. And all you do is you just focus on preparing at the highest level you possibly can. And that's what we're doing right now is uh, doing a great job with practice, doing a great job with our preparation and focus on playing Michigan State. Because this, this is why you come to Ohio State. This is why you want to play here. This is why you want to coach um, is in games like this. It is always a difficult balance for coaching staffs to strike this time of year between tackling enough during practices to get guys ready for a physical game on Saturday, but also not wearing them out at the end of a long season. Day had the Buckeyes tackling a ton earlier in the year, but said this week they've backed off that some. How does he try to balance those two things? You know, I think it's a little bit of a feel thing. We want to do that late in the season typically, but it just depends on the team that you have and, you know, kind of how things are going. Um, we just felt like that was right based on our schedule, based on the teams we were playing. Um, the way the buy, the buy hit, you know, it's just all those things you take into consideration. Usually you want to do it in November. It's just a matter of when. We felt like that was the right time. Saturday is Senior Day in Ohio Stadium, and there are some very big names will be honored, including Haskell Garrett, Thayer Munford, Chris Olave, and others. So how do they determine who gets the honor of running out of the tunnel last? Yeah, you, you know, I leave that up to our operations, but usually it's the captains. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you that, uh, you know, it will be emotional for me because, uh, you know, being a first-time head coach and everything that we've been through in the last, you know, three to four years here, it's, it's been a lot. And these guys have been unbelievable along the way, not, not, not just on the field. I mean, that speaks for itself, but it also – uh, very proud of that and what these guys have done. And it needs to be recognized, but it's just more about who they are and just the day-to-day. -day. And uh, they've meant a lot to Ohio State and this program, meant a lot to me and my family, and uh, certainly forever in debt. For a team with as much depth at the skill positions as Ohio State, getting everyone the right number of touches during the game could be a challenge. Every time you hand it off to Travion Henderson is a time you're not throwing it to Chris Olave. And every time you throw it to Olave, you are not throwing it to Jackson Smith and Jigba or Garrett Wilson or and to get to Travion Henderson. And I guess, you know, too many good players and only one football is not exactly a problem that's going to garner you a lot of sympathy in the coaching community. But how does Day and the coaching staff at Ohio State handle that? Do they go into each game with a target number or a minimum number of touches they want to get for certain guys? No, no, but but similar, though, we will – we always think players. We don't, you know, don't necessarily think plays. Um, that's kind of how we, we approach it. However, there's certain things that a team will do. You know, for instance, if they're doubling somebody or, you know, blitzing a lot or, you know, it, there's only certain schematic things you can do in order to attack that. And so what we have to do is do what puts our, our team first and puts the team in the best position to be successful. Uh, that being said, you try to figure out ways to put your best players uh, at the point of attack. Um, and and that, that works out sometimes. Sometimes, you, you know, you, you draw it up, you work it that way and the ball ends up going somewhere else because the defense dictates you know, typically where the ball goes, especially in the pass game. Um, but sometimes in the run game as well, based on you know, RPOs uh, in the spread games. So, um, you know, we always think players, not plays. And but we, we can't get too caught up in that because sometimes you can get yourself distracted if you're trying to worry about exactly who's touching the ball and what play. And it's certainly you know, for the quarterback, he has to just do what the defense says and do what the reads tell him. Something we talked about on one of our shows earlier in the week with Mark Givler. The Buckeyes added a huge commitment last weekend when five-star 2023 prospect Sonny Styles committed to the Buckeyes. Because of NCAA rules, Ryan Day is not allowed to talk specifically about Styles or any other prospect until they've signed their letter of intent. 
But he was asked this week in more general terms about having an in-state player like Styles or C.J. Hicks in the 2022 class to help build that class around. Well, we've said from the beginning that we always want to recruit Ohio um, really strong, and we try to identify them early on in the process and, and be aggressive. And, um, and, and that, that is our foundation. And it's our foundation uh, now in the program, but it's also our foundation in recruiting. And uh, we try to identify those guys early on, you know, and sometimes we know when they're freshmen and sophomores, you're not always right, but, we, but we've been uh, more right than we've been wrong. And we want to find guys that we want to build our, our team around and um, build our recruiting classes around. And that's where, um, boy, it makes it great when you have such really good players in the state of Ohio coming from great high school programs. And, and that's, that's where greatness happens is when you can get some guys that you feel strong about. And they give you great feedback on the other recruits and their families that these guys fit or maybe these guys don't. And um, and so we've been fortunate enough to nail some of these. C.J. Stroud has now taken over as the betting favorite for the Heisman Trophy. It's not unusual, of course, for one of Day's quarterbacks to be in that conversation. J.T. Barrett was up there after the comeback win over Penn State in 2017. Dwayne Haskins was a finalist in 2018. Justin Fields was a finalist in 2019. And then he finished top 10 in the voting last year as well. So how strong a candidate is Stroud in Day's eyes? Well, I think, uh, you know, at this time of year, you know, you start focusing on those type of things. You get yourself distracted, as, as you said. So uh, we won't spend much time talking about it. But that being said, um, you know, I, I think his production speaks for itself. Uh, I think there's also, uh, you know, he missed a game. There's also some games he was out early on in some of the lopsided games. And, you know, he was a, you know, first time he never thrown a, a college pass going into the Minnesota game. So to see his development and his level of play right now is significant. Um, And so if he continues on the path he's on, then I think he's a very strong candidate. Uh, But it's only going to work if we keep building, keep strong, keep preparing, like I know he's doing. The back end of Ohio State's defense has been a little up and down at times this fall, including giving up a couple of long pass plays against Nebraska. But against Purdue, where all the Boilermakers did throw for close to 400 yards, they did not hit any plays of 30 yards or more. One of the reasons for that was the play of safety, Lathan Ransom. He was named the team's defensive player of the game this week, in fact. So here are Dave's thoughts on what Ransom is bringing to the defense right now. Yeah, no, I think it's it's great. And I think that uh, Lathan has, you know, had a really good game last week. And um, I thought really, you know, had an edge to him last week in practice coming off the Nebraska game. And he was player player the um, defensive player of the week for us. And great to see. Um, great to see him playing well. And especially this time of year, we're going to need him. You know, we, we need him to play well and a lot of our guys on defense. But, yeah, I've been proud of that. You know, I mean, this is a big challenge for our defense this week. This is a very good you know, top 20, 25 offense in the country with a great Heisman Trophy running back. So big, big challenge. And um, I think we're, again, further along than we were, you know, about a month ago on defense. And But here are the, here are the real challenges. And, and we got to step up and, and play well. But um, there's been a lot of good things that have happened um, just in terms of chemistry, but also production. We've done a lot of good things. And. Uh, but it's not the best team that wins. I keep saying to the guys, not the best team that wins. It's the team that plays the best, and we got to play our best on Saturday. This time of the year is the most crucial for a college football team, but it's also one that can be full of distractions. You heard about the Heisman Trophy talk earlier, of course, and then the college football playoff talk can be just as distracting or maybe even more so. And, of course, there's always the chance that the team could be start peeking ahead to the game against Michigan the week after that. So has Dave been happy with how focused the team has been this week? Yeah, yeah, I have. And, you know, you can't play the game on Tuesday, Wednesday, but you can lose it if you're not ready to roll. And uh, I've I've been impressed with our with our focus and uh, just our mature approach, um, professionalism. You know, when when you're playing in a run like this, you, you have to bring it every day. But you also have to, you know, peak on Saturdays. And I think that's what these guys are understanding of what it takes to to play well on Saturday, you know, and, and taking care of their bodies and it's that's really what it is it's a test of who can sustain longer the consistency and that's just across the big 10 right now because of the way the schedule is played out with big games week after week one final note before we wrap up backup quarterback jack miller was reinstated the ohio state team this week after pleading down an ovi charge to a reduced charge of reckless operation he missed the last two games while serving that suspension he's now back with the team in time for the michigan state game Something else that will happen before the start of the Michigan Gate State game today is that Kevin Noon, Tony Gerderman, and I will be doing our live pregame show. We're aiming to start that at 10 o'clock a.m. on Saturday morning at youtube.com slash Buckeye Scoop. 
best way to get notified and make sure you don't miss any of that show is to subscribe to that channel. Hit that bell at youtube.com slash Buckeye Scoop. You get, you get notified every time we do our live free game shows, every time we do our live post game shows and all the other great stuff that we put up there. That's all at youtube.com slash Buckeye Scoop. That'll do it for today. Thank you guys all for joining us. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.